Frosted departure with an alert start toward the inside. And from the outside, here comes Kelly Ostro. And Highland Falls gets a forward spot between them. And so those three scrimmage for the lead for the run to the opening turn. And Frosted Departure from the inside post cuts the corner there and grabs the lead. But Kelly Ostro is right alongside in second. Floats a little bit wide to try and back off in this opening quarter mile. Two lengths back to Trademark, who comes out racing third. Highland Falls settles in toward the rail fourth. Last Samurai, three wide fifth. Dreamlike is at the back with War Campaign. They're about seven lengths off the lead. They turn to the back stretch run. Frosted departure, a solid opening fraction. The opening quarter in 23 and 1 leads by a length with five furlongs to go. Caliostro's a stalking second midway down the back stretch run. Highland Falls sneaks through underneath and grabs third from Trademark, who's now fourth. Dreamlike is smack dab between them, fifth. Now four lengths back with four furlongs to go. Last Samurai is wide at the back and war campaigns to trailer down inside. Round the far turn. Frosted departure. Caliostro coming with more pressure now. These two head and head with three for longs to go. Trademark is back into third. Highland Falls coming under a ride fourth. Dreamlike is launching a rally while wide. Fifth and four wide as they go by the quarter pole where Caliostro comes off the turn with the lead. It's Caliostro in front. Highland Falls is fully extended. Dreamlike is coming down the center. One for long to go. Caliostro two and a half length lead heading for the final 16th. Highland Falls is lifting late. Dreamlike down the far out Outside, 50 yards to go. Kelly Ostro, Highland Falls, Highland Falls surged past to win it in the shadow of the wire, defeating Kelly Ostro. Dreamlike was third and Trademark was fourth. They're off in the 40th Breeders' Cup Classic. An Arabian Knight storms out of the gate. Saudi crowd couldn't get to the front as Arabian Knight immediately comes to the inside and will grab the front end as they race by us for the first time. Saudi crowd is forced to go to the outside. Derma Sotagake is next. White Amario is fourth. And then it's Zandon alongside of Proxy. Five links off the lead. Miss the cut is next. After that comes on the outside bright future. A three-wide dreamlike. Clapton along the rail. The trailers are Senor Buscador and a ground-saving Ushpa Tesoro. Around the first turn they go. And Arabian Knight is the leader through a 22.46 opening quarter mile. He was rushed to the front end here and the pace is hot. Saudi Crown a length and a half behind. White Apario stocks in third. Dermasotagage is fourth. He's three and a half links off the lead. Then it's Zandon. Three back to Proxy alongside of Miss the Cut. Ushpa Tesoro has moved out of the back of the pack now. He's nine links behind up the back stretch. And then it's Dreamlike Clapton and Senor Buscador. Bright Future Trails 45.73 was the half mile for Arabian Knight, who leads it by three quarters of a length. Saudi Crown on the outside second. White Apario continues to stalk the top two as they race for the far turn. Derma Sotagake has come under pressure. So too Zandon. They're both being asked to run, as is Ushpa Tesoro, and he's nine lengths off the lead around the far turn. Arabian Knight, White Apario circles up on the outside. Saudi Crown all out between those two. Then it's Derma Sotagake. Ushpa Tesoro is beginning to move on the outside, but work to do as White up Barrio and Arabian Knight turn for home together in the Breeders' Cup Classic. Wide up Barrio has taken the lead. Arabian Knight gives way. Derma Sotagake and Ushba Tesoro are trying to close the gap, but it is White up Barrio and a Brad Ortiz, and they have won the Breeders' Cup Classic over Derma Sotagake. Off and racing in the Bet Parks, Pennsylvania Derby. Bit of an awkward beginning for Kruppi, who broke towards the back. Saudi Crown bounds to the lead, up to keep him company. Scotland to the outside, West Coast Cowboy, but it is 
the Saudi crown who is quickest of all, and he is going to show them the way into the first turn. Saudi crown, then it's Scotland, West Coast Cowboy, being fanned a bit wide, reincarnate, then back in on the rail, the gray magic tap in between horses, Gilmore, the hometown hero, daydreaming boy, right to his outside, Il Miracolo, then it's back to Dreamlike, a long way back to modern era, the maiden, and reincarnate, he can see them all, the opening quarter, 23 flat, Scotland, a comfortable length and a half, two length, Saudi crown, a comfortable two length advantage over Scotland, who's tracking in second. Saudi crown let out a notch under Florent Giroux, and he is content to open up. Magic Tap is moving up into that second flight. Scotland right to his outside, reincarnate West Coast Cowboy. Then it's back to Gilmore, right to his outside, Il Miracolo, followed by Daydreaming Boy. Dreamlike has moved up, up to a little bit closer. Then a long way back to Kruppi trying to get in gear in modern era. The half 47 and 1. There's less than a half mile left to go in the Pennsylvania Derby. Saudi crown has led every step of the way. Reincarnate now coming up to challenge. He's a length off. Magic tap in on the rail. Il Miracolo's beginning to move now. Scotland dropping out of it. Gilmore picking up some pieces as they make their way through the turn. There's a quarter mile left to go and the cheer of the crowds welcomes them at the finish line. Saudi crown. He hits the top of the stretching command. Magic tap coming up the rail. Reincarnate spinning his wheels. Needs to do a bit better. Dreamlike is flying late. Il Miracolo with a shot. Saudi crown has led every step of the way. Can he take them home? There's a 16th left to go. Saudi crown on the outside. Dreamlike flying, but it's a coronation for Saudi crown in the Pennsylvania Derby. He gets the win over Dreamlike and a photo for the showdown. And they're off in the Pegasus World Cup. Beautiful beginning for Gunrunner and Florent Giroux wasting no time. He's going to use some of his speed to get position, but Mike Smith has beat him to the punch. It's collected, moves to the rail, and moves to the lead. It's collected in front. Gunrunner gets the spot he wants. He's second in the two path with West Coast at the inside third. Followed fourth by Giant Expectation. Sharp ass tech is a bit keen. Angled three wide while racing in fifth. It's two back to Toast of New York. Mid flight and five lengths off the pace setter. Then comes War Story and Gunnar. Vera. Seeking the Soul is next, followed by Stellar Wind and Fear the Cowboy, and Singing Bullet is last of the 12 as they roll into the backstretch. The opening quarter, 23 and 2. Down the backstretch they go. Collected has the lead. Horse of the Year, Gunrunner, latched onto him while second from Giant Expectations in third. West Coast is at the inside, fourth, a length better than Sharp Azteca, fifth. Then Toast of New York, sixth, and about five lengths off the lead. Two in front of Seeking the Soul, who improves inside of War Story. Then Gunavera and Stellar wind. Fear the Cowboy given the green light to try to make some ground and Singing Bullet is still last as they swing around the far turn. 46 and 3 for the opening half mile. Slowly but surely Gunrunner turns up the pressure and there he goes. Gunrunner at the 3 furlong point now takes the lead. Collected is all in. West Coast working into the clear now and the Travers winner is going to try to get to the Breeders' Cup winner as they go to the quarter mile pole. Giant expectations is scrubbed on by Gary Stevens with sharp ass tech a wide. It's a less than a quarter of a mile to go. Three quarters 110 and 1, and they're out the top of the stretch. Gunrunner set down for the drive by Florent Giroux. He leads by two. West Coast, the only one with a chance. He's second. Well clear of the others. A battle on for third with Fear the Cowboy coming on. Gunrunner needs another 16th. It's Gunrunner in front. He'll go out a winner. He's the horse of the year, and he's Gunrunner with an unforgettable performance in the Pegasus World Cup. He won by two over West Coast second. The local horses did well. Gunavera got third. Fear the Cowboy was fourth, and the final time was. 147 and 2 Gunrunner